Amanda and I have been married since 1999. We met down at my local rugby club. I went down there one New Year's Eve, got together with Gary, and Paul was just part of that sort of relationship. He, he was always there. There are times when you actually think that Paul and Amanda are best friends um, because they do get on really, really well. It was just after Christmas. Literally, we were laid in bed and we roll over, pick up your phone and turn on Facebook. There was a, a Facebook message on there from Paul. He just said something about he was in hospital and he'd had a stroke. I collapsed down the side of a bed um, and I couldn't move. <laughs> it's heartbreaking, you know. <laughs> Paul's our rock. To see him in such a vulnerable situation and realise that actually there's nothing at all that you can do for him just tears your world apart, really. I walked out of hospital that day and said, we need to do as much as we can because you just don't know how life is going to turn out. One thing Amanda always does, she never does things by halves. So it's a case of, right, this has happened. I'm now going to go away and see where we're going to go with this one. First thing I did was I went onto the internet and I found the Stroke Association. At that point, I realised from a physical point of view, I couldn't help him. But what I did see is these charities need support. And if I was to do some sort of fundraising, they then in turn would help him. She came up with the, the idea that she would try and achieve 40 challenges, all based around the number 40, before she reached the age of 40 on the 5th of January this year. I had run 40 kilometres over four days, I had row 40 kilometres, I had swim 40 lengths. The 40 hours in bed, that was um, that was a fun one. When she said, I'm thinking of all these challenges, and I said, I won't mind seeing you in a nurse's outfit then for 40 minutes. Amanda and her sister Vicky came in nurse's outfits and we did 40 minutes on the ward with them masquerading as nurses and, and, and doctors. It was quite a touching moment because that was when Paul showed us how he'd learnt to start walking again. I was going to show them that I was supporting them as much as they were supporting me. So the target was £2,013. I think three weeks ago she'd raised £11,500. Smashed all expectations. What Amanda's done is raised people's awareness of how stroke can affect people in different ways. It started initially with the Halifax Evening Courier. That then led on to articles in the Yorkshire Post. Amanda put the fun in fundraising and put a lot of smiles in a lot of people's faces and has done an amazing, unbelievable job. It's not just me, I think every, everybody's proud of her. Occasionally in life you meet an absolute angel and Amanda is one of those who really are very proud of her. My mum's pretty age. She's amazing! She's just a massive inspiration and I can't believe how much money she's raised. Today I've got a 12 day old baby, my little baby girl Madeline. I don't think I'd be where I am now, either mentally, emotionally or physically, if I hadn't been Amanda pushing at the back end of it. She just burst with pride, you just know she just, she just gravitated everybody around her. So many people have been affected by this positively to come out the other side knowing more about stroke, donating money to stroke.